All right, well, good morning, folks. It's Nick here of Ben and Nick's, and uh, I got to tell you, I was pretty indecisive this morning. Um, didn't wasn't really sure what I wanted to fish for, whether I wanted to go for bass or crappie, but in the end, I kind of decided that I do a lot more bass fishing in the summer months, so I thought I'd just try to hit some crappie this morning, at least to start, if I can get on some type of a decent or catch a couple crappie. I might just try to stay on the crappie bite right now, but um, yeah, we're just gonna try for some crappie first. And if those, if I can't find a crappie bite, I might end up trying to go for some bass. There's a lot of action on the water this morning. The water's crystal smooth and uh, just glass this morning. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. I'm so grateful to be out here and have the opportunity to try to catch some fish on such a beautiful morning. But We'll see if we can find some crappie and uh, hopefully we can come across a couple. So stay tuned. Hey folks, look at there. We're about five casts in. And we got ourselves a white crappie there. This morning I'm running the black, black and natural with the chartreuse. I might run to even a more common color later. There we go. Crappie number one of the morning. And of course he flops away. Let him go. Let's see if we can catch another one. Folks, crappie number two this morning. Not too much size to them. You could eat them, but you know, there's bigger ones down there. Still throwing that natural and chartreuse there. I have my uh, ice gear on my kayak. I've been taking it out quite often when I'm going for crappie because I'm either finding a school of crappie or finding structure and there's a tree out here and it seems to hold crappie so I've been fishing it a couple times and we're just real slow rolling this jig across this tree seeing if we can pull a crappie or two out of the foliage it's still pretty cold so if when you roll it slow they seem to take it a little better when you fish it real slow and less hang-ups in the tree so it's very beneficial to do it slowly for those two reasons friends crappie number three there he's a little bigger than the others might hold on to him maybe we'll start a stringer here this morning we'll see There's another one, folks. 
I think we found them. They're running pretty shallow today, probably four foot. Right over this treetop. There's number three on the stringer for us. Looks like we're gonna have some crappie for dinner. Whoa, check that out. <laughs> he just came right up and clobbered it while I was readjusting my kayak. Ain't that something? That is not the first time I've had that happen with crappie, but hey, crappie number four and we weren't even trying. <laughs> That's a good way to get to your 10 to a dozen. That's funny. We'll just throw him on the stringer. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Just rowing my kayak around backwards. There's one. This feels like a decent one. There we go. Another nice eater there. Beautiful crappie. Take this one. Get him on the stringer. That might be a female. She looks kind of chunky there. Might have an egg pouch going on. Stuck her good. I don't even know how to get the hook out of her. Got wrapped around multiple times. Look at this one. Got some egg in her. You know spawn's coming when they're plumping up like that. Right now it's early April. And they're just hanging out, waiting for the time to come. It's fun when you can get on a little bite like this. You know, for the 40 times I come out, get on a decent bite. Gotta fish a lot to have a good day, it seems for me anyways get her on the stringer that's another one what do we got here one two three four five of them five this morning we'll just keep trucking away I think we might be able to come up with a dozen this morning There's another one, look at that. Backing up. It's a good one too. Oh my gosh. Twice today. Twice today we're backing up. Look at that fat belly. Dang. That's funny. There's another one. What a beautiful fish. I think I'm gonna let her go. She's ripe with eggs. She's a decent sized fish. We're gonna put her back. Beautiful crappie, though. Let her go. <laughs> She's ready to pop. That's a nice one. That's a nice crappie. Thumped it. Yep, that's the one I wanted. Look at this one. That's a nice fish. That's the crappie that I was waiting for this morning. And you know, I think I'm gonna keep this one for the meat. I've caught so many of these big fish in here over the course of the past year or so, and I throw them back every time. So this one, look at that. There's fish down in its gut there. You can see the fins we are gonna put this one on the stringer all other big ones can probably go back in but I'm gonna keep one of them I earned that one I can keep one of them for once
I think I'm gonna about wrap it up today. I'm gonna fish for maybe another 10, 15 minutes before I head home, but you know, I said at the beginning of the day we'd see if we could find a pattern for cropping. I think that's good proof of it. Got a nice stringer there, 15 fish. That'll probably be one of maybe three I'll do stringers about that size in a year. That's about how many fish I keep a year. Just a few for myself and some friends, but you know what I was doing was I found a submerged tree and I uh, just skimmed the surface with that minnow. Just barely, barely turning that reel, real slow. And uh, that's what they wanted today. Use the black and chartreuse minnow and they were all over it all day long. So I'm glad we were able to find some crappie. It was a wonderful time. Didn't have to look for bass today, it worked out. So I wanna thank you all for coming again. It's always a lot of fun getting out here, especially in the spring. So y'all take care, keep tuning in and I'll see you next time.